Today on the vlog, the first pizza that I ever made on my own, and I used a mobile pizza crust. Man, did they crush it with marketing in the 90s. Hello, this is something new. Boboli Italian bread shell, and I am Vittorio. And about pizza! Oh, yes, Mama, my mother. We think Boboli bread shell is ten times better than pizzeria crust. It's in the supermarket. On a rack! On a rack, like this. You guys, welcome back to the vlog. How familiar are you with Boboli? Because when I would see those commercials come out as a kid, I was like, that's what it takes to be an elite chef. Getting that in my house, if I can get one of those, I can truly make it. Both the pizza and a curry, I don't know. Bobble Italian bread shell. It's more fun than a pizza. Because kids can create their very own bobble. Other than the pizza Lunchables, fun as a kid, a travesty when you have them later in life and realize, hmm, it's like flavorless. Did my tongue take the day off? To me, this was the elite thing. We are going to recreate the first pizza that I ever made. <laughs> it smells like a tortilla. <laughs> Here's how it's looking. And then when I was a kid, I used ragu pizza sauce, super cheap. Hormel pepperonis, still the goat. And store brand mozzarella cheese. Now as a kid, it was America's choice. It was Farmer Jack brand. It's always savings time at Farmer Jack. If you want low prices and quality every day, it's just a matter of fact. I'm so curious what this tastes like nowadays, now that I've done so much food research and eating all around the globe and a lot in Chicago, an elite pizza city. Is this gonna just be a travesty or am I gonna be like the nostalgia's taken over? I can't really tell you the last time I had ragu pizza sauce. Beautiful, looking good. In the 90s, they really branded this as, and it was a big quick dinner time. It was, that was the marketing. Anything that you could make in like 10 minutes or less for a family, that was the marketing. And that's what they leaned into. And the fact that it was like fresh, homemade, just like Italian pizza. Which, if you ever go to Italy for even two minutes, you realize real quick, <laughs> I wonder if this actor was even Italian. Like, did they cast some guy doing a, like what the Americanized Italian accent is? You're not doing this in Italy. They'll literally kill you. She's a beaut. It's a beaut, Clark, it's a beaut. I hope you didn't do this all on our account, Clark. After I got a little older, we got into the Little Caesars pizza kits, which you could make at home, and then that kind of took over. Those, I thought, were elite status for real. Our pizza kit fundraising program, Little Caesars has helped groups raise millions of dollars for things they need. These fun videos like this that I get to kind of go down memory lane, this is all from these people, the, the Rory Bell fan club. They buy the food, they support the channel and fun ideas that I want to do, so even early on I wanted to shout them out today. Another thing you won't find very much of in Italy, if at all, is pepperonis. Pepperoni on a menu means like red peppers, so you'll learn that real quick. <laughs> a lot of prosciutto, a lot of salami over there. Oh, look at that, perfect, one left over. Yeah. Instructions say bake for 10 to 15 minutes. I preheated the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you're gonna enjoy your masterpiece. Nowadays, you put this in a big air fryer, you know, maybe you'd throw it on a pizza stone. We're doing it like I did in the mid 90s, right on the rack, going in. Check back soon. Whatever, and you get a fresh homemade pizza. Actually, it's more than a pizza. Yeah. But don't eat so fast. Spend 15 minutes, it's looking crispy, and cheesy and so greasy from the pepperonis. Oh my God, it looks oddly fantastic. When you look up just like clip art photos of pepperoni pizza, this is what pops up. It's just so, this is the most American pizza you can make. It's so evenly cooked and just, I mean, I oddly love this. This section of the vlog should be called Nostalgia Kitchen. If you know me, you know I like bigger pieces of pizza. A lot of people cut these into eight smaller slices. For whatever reason, I just enjoy the eating experience of holding a bigger slice. I don't know. 
One last little zhuzh. The craft, a lot of people call it sawdust, grated Parmesan cheese. We in the Ely household put this on every pizza we ever made or like fresh or frozen. Every pizza we got from Hungry Howie's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut, did not matter. I grew up thinking everybody put this on pizzas. We called it stinky cheese in my house. We still do, like we still, with my parents, we still text. I just use stinky cheese. <coughs> I like the clumps that you could like break up. I know, I was weird. As I devour this, please comment if you still, if you've ever had baboli, and if you still buy the pizza crust and make a, home, a homemade pizza at home. Let me know. That's just an all-American TMNT, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is a Michelangelo pizza if I've ever seen it. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm yeah. just yeah. like Sam. Enjoy. Ninja pizza. Here's the undercarriage if that means something to you. But look, I mean, look at this. Nothing is falling off. I'm holding this, it's not all sliding. It's perfectly crispy. Let's go. I don't wanna burn my mouth though. For the first time in 25 years, a baboli. There's nothing like, I love his channel. I would never have bought this for myself. I love sharing this moment with you guys. There is something about nostalgic taste when it like washes over you. You just start thinking it, like you're starting to pinpoint, you're bitten corners of your brain of things, memories you haven't thought of in so long. Like I just randomly started thinking of something from my grandparents' basement that we'd play like NBA Jam. My grandpa would be like, if you, if you two were gonna fight to me and my brother, go do it in the backyard on the grass. <laughs> I haven't thought of that in so long. This is perfect for like an at-home thing, like making this with kids. They can use their toppings and make their own little pizza. It's fantastic for what it is. I saw they have a thin crust version of this and also a cauliflower crust now. The 2020s are very much rearing their healthy heads. I almost am excited to potentially try the thin crust in the future. This is a little bready and also like a little chewy. Like I kind of like it a little crispier. I think as we've gotten older, as a society, as a country, we like smash burgers over pub burgers now. We like thinner, crispy, crunchy pizza over like big, thick pizza. I even feel like pressed sandwiches are getting more popular than like big mile high sandwiches. Now the true test. It's tough to impress this one. I made you a baboli. Wow. Have you had baboli? No. Whoa. We always did Chef Boyardee pizzas. Yeah, I went down that weird road with you. Yeah, you messed it up. <laughs> it doesn't not look like a pizza. It's just not beautiful. It's uh, pretty thick there, huh? <laughs> Is there something you want to say? Uh, really hate when I'm wrong. Should have spread it out like you said. Eating crow. I went like the lady whistle down voiceover to be. Yours truly. Like that is thick. It's a lot of bread, but it's not bad. <laughs> right, spot on assessment. I mean, this would, would be better if there were um, black olives, but. <laughs> the packaging even says, what will you create? This was just what I created as like a 10 year old boy. I mean, look at the corn. Yeah, this thing's got corn and mushrooms and stuff on it. and. Roma tomato, no, those are like grape tomatoes cut in half. Avocado, this has got feta on it. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> but this is classic, it's pretty good. It's exactly what it is. It's like, it's not good, it's not great. It's just, it gets the job done. It's kind of a workhorse pizza. Yeah, and you made this in what? 10 minutes? Minimal Nailed dishes? The, Nailed the branding. I like in those old commercials, he was always like talking to his mom off camera. She was like, get up a ball! He's like, okay, mom, okay. <laughs> What is that? Do you know how quick and easy it is to make a bubble? Stick your head in the refrigerator. <laughs> My mother. But mama, not every kid loves broccoli. They put on a bubble. Of course, <laughs> mama. This bedridden mother is just shouting at her son to make her <laughs> shelf-stable crusts. <laughs> yeah, how deeply unhealthy is this? It's horrible for you. Oh, cool. <laughs> Cut it into fours. Just the bread alone is 280 calories. That's before the pepperoni and the cheese and the sauce. I don't think people eat baboli and go, that's a good cutting meal. <laughs> Pretty filling though because the crust is so thick. A slice or two will do ya. 
What sauce did you use? Ragu pizza sauce. The mm. cheapest one they had at the store, because that's what I did as a kid. Mm. <laughs> uh. I have notes on the pizza sauce. Yeah. So do I. And I'm pretty sure even Ragu, the people that work there are like, we have some notes, and they're like, just keep them to yourself. I can see them. Good crunch though. I just love this, picking up stuff that I had as a kid, trying it in my 30s, and watching the brain spin. So you think you're gonna make this again? I'd be interested to try the thin crust version. There's a thin crust? I was, this was the only one they had when I was a kid, the original. Mm. Made by Bimbo Bakeries in Horsham, Pennsylvania. Do -do 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 -do. I'm just so excited to hear what these guys think about this. Like, honestly, so much joy for me comes in the comments of like hearing what the people that watch this video think of this and what their tie to this was as kids or now. Like, if you would have told me that they don't make this anymore, I would have been like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I must have just been skipping over it in the aisles for years because I don't even remember seeing it. I don't think I've ever seen this before. And it's there. It's always in that shelf stable pizza aisle. <laughs> Before anybody says it, as an adult, I would have zhuzhed this up like a mother. You are an adult. If I wasn't doing it for the video, I'd use this frozen pizza seasoning, it's amazing. Flat Iron Pepper Company, give it a little spice. I do extra virgin olive oil around the edge. All right, Nostalgia Kitchen conquered again. And also, if you want to see me eat a specific thing on this channel, the Venmo, the Catch Up, the PayPal. We already talked about the Rory Boyle fan club, but we'll show their names again. Every single person, five bucks a month, links below, that is a Rory Boiler. It's hard to say. Your name on screen, every single video you'll see it at the end as well click that off and uh, you guys I hope your Fridays are going amazingly uh, we've got a little wedding prep stuff going on this weekend we're seeing some friends that are in town that used to live here that we love so it's gonna be very fun I got to pick up the socks for all the groomsmen we're churning we're burning I don't know why I'm telling you real things about my life but that's how much I appreciate you guys I want you involved Bro, what are you talking about, man? After a couple of adult beverages this weekend, I will be reheating these two. There's no doubt. And uh, enjoying them probably one, two, three in the morning. <laughs> Shut up, Sean. A baboli pizza up. A baboli pizza down. Baboli. B -b 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 be good to each other.